Move over, Cartier. There's a jewelry maker in our Ozarks life. Chad Pline introduces us to a man who's bringing joy to others one ear at a time. Well, if it came yet or not. Just a few blocks from the SBU campus, Stanley Lear rolls around the neighborhood like a proud mayor. He wore out a set of tires in 30 days. He's all over the neighborhood. He knows everyone. He's always helping his neighbors, whether it's rolling out their trash or wheeling in their mail. Stanley keeps himself busy. I'm not hauling these old ladies' trash, so I come in and make earrings. You heard him right. It is. This 94-year-old makes earrings. What is all this? <laughs> Bunch of junk I make. I mean, <laughs> With one good eye and some extra large fingers, the man who built metal buildings, welded and worked on vehicles, now strings microscopic beads. What are they called? Stanley Originals. Surprises everybody when they, when you give them something. If we go out to eat, he's got, pulls a bag full and gives them out and they look at him, take him, and they're all just so happy every time. When a relative goes on a trip, some Stanley Originals are sent along in a baggie. They've been dropped off for classrooms and passed along in doctors' waiting rooms. Stanley has earrings in all 50 states and has gone worldwide. From New Zealand to Africa, he has pieces for pierced lobes everywhere. Got them about 20 countries, I think. We wish we had kind of made a note where all these earrings are. And unlike Tiffany and Company, Bulgari or Cartier, these Stanley Originals won't set you back hundreds or even tens of dollars. Uh, some people like them, some of just take them because they're free. You know, but seem like they're always happy to get them, you know. It feels pretty good, you know, most of the time. Dad is a giver and always has been. He makes him so happy to give anything away. Stanley's family thinks this comes from him growing up during the Great Depression and as the oldest of 10 kids. I think he was just always very aware of helping his brothers and sisters maybe have more than he had. Sometimes they're hard to see. Stanley admits he doesn't think much about solving the world's problems when he's making his earrings, but he does think of who will wear the latest pair and has learned an odd thing about the fashion of red-headed women. See a redhead, she'll take a green earring, and I don't understand that either. But. <laughs> well, that's something Stanley can ponder while out driving the neighborhood. With an Ozark's Life in Bolivar, Chad Pline, KY3 News. I think I'd like a pair of one of those. This past spring, Stanley lost his wife of 73 years, Velma. This earring making makes his family happy to see him busy and say they'll keep buying beads because they don't want him to stop.